My name is Tim Cole. I'm the owner of Austin Reptile Service and we're here to talk about identifying common snakes. First you might want to start with a field guide that pertains to the state or the particular area that you live in. and That'll help narrow it down quite a bit. You want to look at patterns and even behavior can identify a snake. For instance this hognose snake. They have a defense behavior of flaring up their neck like a cobra and that doesn't scare you off. The next thing they do is they'll roll over on their back, they'll open their mouth, stick their tongue out and play dead. And that's the only snake we have in the U.S. that does that. Garter snakes or ribbon snakes are fairly easy to identify because of the stripes going down their back. And we're going to show you an example of garter snake. Uh, rat snakes are fairly common throughout most of the U.S and they uh, don't mind living around people because they are attracted to rats and mice that people might have in their backyards or up in their attics or under the house. So a rat snake is fairly common and we're going to show you an example of a Texas rat snake which is the most common snake call that we deal with in the Austin, Texas area. So this is some points on identifying common snakes.